Just ahead of the headlines, it's a tale of woe, but don't worry, it has a happy ending. Robin Haggett from Bridgewater was given a mini for his 19th birthday, but on his 41st birthday this year, shock horror, it was stolen. The Haggarts woke up one morning to find that their mini baby was no longer there. Their life was turned upside down as they attempted to hunt down the lost car. Determined not to let the thieves win, Robin set out to recover the car. He produced and distributed over a thousand flyers across Somerset and placed a reward on the internet. BBC Somerset's Luke Hanrahan went to meet him to get the full story. I'm in Bridgewater today and I've got Robin Haggett with me who's uh, found a mini that was stolen from him on his 41st birthday. Now what makes this mini so special, Robin? Uh, what makes it so special is that uh, it was a present to me from my mother and father on my 19th birthday and uh, I've had it for 22 years. Uh, I've restored it and uh, it's my first ever ever car uh, an actual fact i'm only the second owner we i bought it off of my uncle who lived across the road so it's very precious to my mother and father as well i must say it's a fine piece of machinery how old is this car it's um it's actually technically called a 1961 austin 7 because back then they were called austin 7s rather than mini can you just give us a a quick beep of that horn there this is what gives it my uh, mini its true character because no other horn that you hear on the streets today or on the roads sounds like this <laughs> now when this was stolen what did you do what was your first reaction oh shock horror uh, i just couldn't believe it that somebody could have done that to me um you never think it's going to happen to yourself of course a friend of mine had uh, his cherished um, classic car stolen too and he said that what he did was put it on the ebay uh, on the internet as a stolen reward ad and that's what i did i'm convinced that is what really brought my car home uh, somebody happened to say well you know that's funny I, I saw that car on the night it was supposed to be stolen in in bedminster on the bedminster downs and uh, and then it snowballed from there my girlfriend did the groundwork for this because she she's very good with uh, contacting the clubs and, and and that's how it sparked off so a fantastic piece of private detective work you could say oh yeah we we um we did a lot of the work uh, that the police couldn't do because the police uh, you know for all that they're, that they're worth they can only do so much because they are stretched uh, and i was I was adamant that I wasn't let this kind of car going to go. I was absolutely, I was determined not to. And I thought, well, my car's out there somewhere. So I dug my heels in and I went, I went, did extra, I uh, did that extra um, mile to, to get it back. Well, it, it, I mean, it looks fantastic. It, it doesn't seem that much damage was done to uh, your car. No, that's right. Um, I'm so lucky because, you know, you hear so many stories that uh, these cars are burnt out over the hills or, or they, they're never found again. You've got a name for this car, haven't you? What Can you tell me what you call it and wh what's the history behind why you call it that? When the Austins and Morris's first came off the production line, uh, the Austins were uh, announced as the new Austin baby as part of their advertising campaign. But for me, why I call it baby, it stems from the first owner who who lived across the road here and when he used to put it in his garage of a night time he used to push it, he used to drive it so far and then just push it in the rest of the way into the garage and then he'd always say well baby's gone to bed and it sort of stuck and then the, the name baby's just stuck from there on really and we've used it in our family ever since that name well how fantastic robin i'm really pleased that your car's finally been returned to you and you can now look after her in peace i'm over the moon <laughs> <laughs> bbc somerset's luke hanrahan with a good story and a happy ending from Bridgewater. It's at 8.48 now. BBC Somerset's Big Breakfast here or there. Who had his vintage 1961 Mini stolen on his 41st birthday has managed to track it down. I honestly don't know what I would do. I would cry if somebody stole our VW van.